Thank you, Karuna. In a surprise turn of events, the Suspended Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chair Momo Matemu has resigned, completing a cycle of events that has now rendered the EACC virtually grounded. Matemu follows in the footsteps of his Deputy Irene Kano and Commissioner Professor Jenon Songo, who was the first to resign. As KTN's Rita Tinina now reports, the resignation of the three commissioners now leaves the tribunal set up to probe them with nothing to do. The resignation of Mumo Matemu now throws into disarray a tribunal that had been set up to investigate his conduct after his deputy Irene Kano quit in a similar fashion last month. Mumo Matemu says he has chosen to go home for what he calls a desire to put the public good above his personal rights and interests. The resignation now completes the cycle with another commissioner, Professor Jane Onsongo, having been the first to quit. Ironically, the entire commission has now gone home, leaving only the secretariat to carry on with a probe on high-profile individuals named in President Uhuru's list of shame. And earlier in the day, whatever is left of the commission appeared to be soldiering on. At the Integrity Center, it was Bomet Governor and Chair of the Governor's Council, Isaac Ruto's turn, to appear before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. No, they were not even giving me any accusations myself. Uh, what I basically saw is uh, a few bookkeeping questions uh, that uh, are basically handled uh, by the operatives, but we can understand the capacity issues. Ruto, whose name featured in the list of shame by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, is among other things accused of acquiring a palatial home worth over 30 million shillings, operating numerous petrol stations and owning a chopper worth at least 300 million shillings. Whether or not I have uh, a chopper or several choppers, uh, I've told them that I really would like to have one, and especially a dreamliner if I can progress. The chairman of the governor's council was grilled as it emerged that the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has recommended charges against three cabinet secretaries, two principal secretaries, two governors, and three parastatal chiefs. The ESCC says it is preparing to hand over the files with the recommendations to the Director of Public Prosecutions. The DPP has already approved charges against Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia, NMP's Alfred Keter and Sonia Birdi over breach of the Leadership and Integrity Act and Chapter 6 of the Constitution. Still on graft in Kisumu, embattled suspended Kisumu County Assembly Majority Leader Samuel Ongo will spend the night at the Koru police station as six of his accomplices denied charges of corruption and economic crimes over foreign trips deal. Appearing before Kisumu Principal Magistrate Thomas Obutu, former Speaker Anne Adol, and her husband Elijah Adol, former Clerk Nelko Sagwe, former Minority Leader Edwin Anayo, and Directors of Factor Connect Samuel Odera and Mildred Omondi, denied charges of failing to adhere to procurement laws, conspiring to defraud the Kisumu County Government of 17.4 million shillings in international trips and fraudulently acquiring public property. They were granted a 2 million shilling bond each and the surety of a similar amount or a cash bill of 1 million shillings each. The ESCC had indicated that it was keen on meeting the deadline of 60 days set by the president when he released the infamous list of shame. But with more than 100 case files still pending and now the uncertainty over the status of the commission, the war on corruption is far from being firmly on course. Rita Tinina. KTN.